Hey guys, my name is Mirak and this is my channel Survive Korea. We'll be discussing all the tips and tricks that you'll ever need uh, to survive Korea. Not that it's difficult or that it's terrible out here, it's actually quite amazing. But I thought that uh, after three years of uh, living and working here, I've got some tips and tricks that I can share with you. <laughs> If you're either firstly someone that is thinking about working in Korea or just a little bit apprehensive of making the, the big and long trip over to Korea and you've got issues or questions of like um, will they like me am I a good teacher will I be able to teach over here what if I don't like the food all those questions I'll answer them for you uh, on this channel second are uh, people that might already be in Korea but are experiencing some issues like where to recycle your trash uh, where what can you recycle what can't you recycle how does the ondel work in my apartment how do i set up mobile banking how do i set up a lesson plan how do i teach in korea even uh, how do i set up a coupon uh, online shopping account all those questions uh, i will answer for you on this channel so a little bit more about myself. I've been working and living in Korea, teaching here for about three and a half years. Uh, I came from South Africa and uh, I've been having an absolute ball of a time out here. My contract is uh, until 2021, but to be honest, I don't think I wanna leave. It's uh, life's good out here. And uh, especially now with the pandemic, I, it wasn't always this great. Like right now, life is amazing. Um, I've transitioned quite seamlessly and I've uh, assimilated quite easily to, to life here in Korea but it did not come without its hiccups or without its problems and um, to be to be honest with you I wanted to quit after my first month when I got here I called my mom I was like I can't, I can't do this mom like it's just I, the, my my lessons are really boring uh, the apartment I'm living in is not really I'm not really feeling it out here um, I want to come back uh, but before I did that, I actually got into contact with uh, someone that was here before me and I asked him a couple of questions and after my, my uh, I guess, his mentorship, if you can call it that, we just kind of, uh, I just messaged him on Facebook and he just sent me some, some tips or tricks on what to do for class especially and also uh, just for the apartment. So this is why I decided to make this channel is so that I can help those out there that might be experiencing um, the same problems that I did way back in my first year. Where will I live in Korea when I do finally make the push to come out here? And to be honest, uh, it depends on uh, what type of field you'll be in or if you're going to be working in a hagwon or a, a public school. So on the one side, you've got public schools, hagwons, those are academies. For the most part, you can choose where you want to live or, or work. Um, and on the other side, you have public schools, which, uh, yeah, you don't really have uh, an option, especially if it's your first time teaching, you don't really have an option uh, of where you'll live or work. Um, they do give you a list of places where you can choose from, preferably where you'd like to, to live or work, but it, ultimately it's up to them. Luckily, I, I got placed in a city I'm pretty happy with, but I didn't know what Chang, where Changwon was or what Changwon even is. Um, the only city I really knew before coming here was Seoul, and that's where I tried to work, but Seoul's so it's hard to get into as well as Busan. So I had absolutely no idea of what to expect when I did come here. Luckily, I made some friends in the first day that I was here that I would still consider friends today, um, three and a half years later. I was lucky with that, but um, I wasn't as lucky with my apartment. Yeah, I was given a um, couple of options. Um, Seoul was not one of them, so I just, I just, made like a quick google search as like Changwon, okay is Goja, okay here are some places cool um but nothing really i didn't really know what i was getting myself into um there were also rural places this i was terrified of because back in south africa rural is like real rural like you're out there with the cows and shit so um i was a little bit apprehensive of like, like where if i do um get placed into a rural area what would life be and to be honest 
life's pretty good out there too. Um, I've got a couple of mates that live in uh, rural areas and I'll try and collaborate with them and uh, they can actually give you an apartment tour uh, or just a tour of their living situation so you can get an idea if you do get placed in a rural uh, area what your living conditions might be and there are pros and there are cons to living in a rural area for sure so we can get into those as well in a later episode but yeah i didn't i the whole process uh, after i graduated university was about two months of like uh hitting up a recruiter and getting my job so it was like really fast paced i didn't have enough time to look or research anything and um i just got i was just lucky with with what i with what i got i was absolutely shitting bricks when i first came here um, i'm gonna try and show you a photo if i still have it of the last day in south africa before coming to korea and working here um yeah every, like you can see my hands are gripping uh that luggage over there you can see the white in my knuckles so i was i was shitting bricks um and quite rightly so because this is the first time uh, that I would be living in a different country. I've, I've traveled quite a lot, but only for about a week or two, you know, in a different country, never lived there for a year plus. So this was absolutely terrifying for me, but I didn't really have enough time to really second guess what I was doing. So I just kind of went with it and never looked back since. So full disclosure, um, this wasn't my first apartment. Um, my first apartment in my first year it was let's say less than satisfactory um it was a one it was a one room apartment which means the kitchen the living room the bedroom everything was in one room so when i would make food my whole apartment my bedroom living room would smell like food and yeah it was less than satisfactory but not bad considering but just know what i was expecting uh i applied after one year i asked my school listen can i change apartments not really happy uh over here and they approved it and yeah we went apartment hunting with my school and we found one that i'm really happy with uh my mates actually were staying in this apartment block so like just down the floor below me so yeah moved in um i've got it's a three bed it's a three room it's a single bedroom but it's got a kitchen living room area a separate bedroom and a separate uh, bathroom which is music to my ears that's all that i really wanted when i first came here was just not to live in a single room and yeah after i just uh, applied um, and asked if i could move was approved and yeah easy but really simple so without any further ado This is one thing that you'll find in every Korean apartment. It is a kind of like a shoe cupboard. Every Korean apartment has this because no one really wears their shoes indoors. You come in, you put your shoes in there, and then we can use those if we just want to go downstairs quickly, buy something, or meet someone downstairs quickly, or do whatever you want to do outside. Now, arguably one of the most important rooms in the house. We've got the bathroom over here. Very simple, plain and simple, but we've got the essentials. Toilet paper, cleaning stuff over there, toilet, bin, place to put all your other stuff. Basin, I don't know, cosmetic stuff and face cleaner, stuff like that. And then shower and got a towel over there, a mirror. And that's, that's all, that's all there is. Um, also over here, because we don't wear uh, shoes in the house, um, and you, let's say you just showered, uh, you don't want to walk into the wet kind of bathroom, so you just slip on those little slippers and then you can come out and not wet the whole house this is where i keep uh my wallet my rings and my bracelets my girlfriend's watch and her perfume just magically appeared here and then i got my um my glasses and of course my girlfriend's jewelry over there and just some random stuff so in here we have this little thing I don't really know what it's for, but I just store my pots and pans and blenders and stuff in here. Got the oversized sink over here, some dishes, gas. So 
what I do when I make my coffee. Washing machine over here. Hot little oven in here, that's all that I need. And some more pots and pans, Tupperware in there. Over here, we have my little breakfast, I guess, nook or area. Got my oats, got my coffee, peanut butter for my oats. Some cinnamon also for the oats. And um, we hear the kettle. So over here should be some bananas, but yeah, I'm leaving tomorrow, so I don't really need any. Got the microwave. Got some food, some more food, some sauces, and just some random snacks. Airport charger, phone charger, got a pop plant, my Bluetooth speaker, and here, <laughs> I have to take my temperature every morning for school and put it in an app, so I have to do that. This is just my uh, table. So I made this table myself. Um, I just went and, like, my school had some offcuts. Uh, it's a relatively new school that had some offcuts, so, just bought these um, online and then I just attached them to this piece of wood and got these from a friend that left. And here we have the living room. I'll give you a better angle about that. So it looks like this. So over here, I bought this online. Wasn't that expensive at all. Um, I will be including the links of these as well. So, got an L-shaped couch over here. On this side, we have the TV and the TV stand. And we've got some posters over here, just of my favorite movies, King's Speech, Trainspotting, and Pulp Fiction. And then we've got the beautiful view out of here. And it is glorious today. Look at that. Over here we have the ancient aircon, but still does its job. And I'm not really sure what this place is, but I just put up some stuff that I bought from my travels from Bali, Thailand, Philippines, and stuff like that. Got the Bob Dylan. Um, LP, my family, Joy Division, my mates down here. This was my first year and some books that I've been reading or read. In here, well, this is just some photos that I've accrued over the last couple of years over here. More over here. Inside, just a couple of baskets, some random stuff. And yeah, my bedroom. This is it. This was actually my dining room table for my first apartment <laughs> that I bought. And now it's just here. Um, I put my clothes on here. Like, you know, when it's not, it's not really dirty, but it's not really clean. I could wear it again. I don't want to put it in the laundry pile yet. So this is basically what this is for. <laughs> and over here, this is new. I bought this this month of coupon i'll include the links for this as well this is just a drawer with all the stuff that you know goes in a drawer i guess some decorations some lights keep my watches here as well this is the book that i'm reading my dad's book that he wrote and my bed and yeah there's the cupboard and now we're here of course again i've got a beautiful view of the area that i live in Pretty sweet man this I also bought uh, very recently this is a cupboard from uh, Onil Jeep so in here we just have some work shirts and t-shirts and my jackets in here there's some oversized coats some pajamas pajamas and some bags and stuff down there Yeah, that's that's the room. So this has been my apartment. I hope you enjoyed the apartment tour. I hope it's been a little informative for you that you can make uh, a better decision of whether you'd want to come and live and work out here. Um, if you'd get an apartment like this, 
it's not yeah it's really it's up to way where, where you'd work or um, where you get placed um, but if you're not happy with it you can always just apply or ask if you can move apartments if you really really not happy with your apartment but yeah in the in the next episodes I will be covering how to prepare for uh, an interview with your recruiter or with your employer I'll be setting up a uh, an interview or a Q&A with one of my mates that's the head teacher at a, at a Hagwon Academy in the city Changwon so um, I'll be asking him what type of questions you should be asking what type of questions you should be expecting how to stand out from the rest of the crowd and um, what you can do just to make yourself a little bit more favorable with the recruiter or your potential future employer.